now you can get the same uncompromising truth you've come to expect from the Final Call newspaper on all your connected devices. Subscribe to the Final Call Digital Edition today. Go to subscribe.finalcalldigital.com. Greetings, dear listeners. We have been blessed by Almighty God Allah over the 90 years of our work in the nation of Islam and lifting our people up from the miserable condition in which we find ourselves. We ask your support of our efforts and we hope that you will be generous and make a contribution to the work of the Nation of Islam and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan by clicking the button below or go to noi.org forward slash donate. We thank you in advance for your support. May Allah God continue to bless you and your families. Assalamu alaikum. This house is dedicated to knowledge and to the spreading of knowledge. Elijah Muhammad inspired new thought, new mind, new way of civilization among black people. But he wanted a house from which a light could be lifted up to give guidance to all who would be guided as this world begins to close down. This national center for the re-education and retraining of the black man and woman, but for the totality of the human family of our planet. I named this mosque after the only woman that the Quran names a chapter after. The mother of Jesus, Maryam. All human beings need to be re-educated. That is the purpose of the National Center.
الحمد لله الذي أنزل على عبده الكتاب ولم يجعل له عوجا قيما لينذر بأسا شديدا من لدنه ويبشر المؤمنين الذين يعمدون الصالحات أن لهم أجرا حسنا ما كتين فيه أبدا وينذر الذين قالوا اتخذ الله ولدا ما لهم به من علم ولا لآبائهم كبرت كلمة تخرج من أفواههم إن يقولون إلا كذبا فلعلك باخع نفسك على آخرهم إن لم يؤمنوا بهذا الحديث أسفا إنا جعلنا ما على الأرض زينة لها لنبلوهم أيهم أحسن عملا وإنا لجاعلون ما عليها صعيدا جرزا أم حسبت أن أصحاب الكهف والرقيم كانوا من آياتنا عجبا إذ أوى الفتية إلى الكهف فقالوا ربنا آتنا من لدنك رحمة وهيئ لنا من أمرنا رشدا فضربنا على آذانهم في الكهف سنين عددا ثم بعثناهم لنعلم أي الحزبين أحصى لما لبثوا أمدا نحن نقص عليك نبأهم بالحق إنهم فتية آمنوا بربهم وجدناهم وربطنا على قلوبهم إذ قاموا فقالوا ربنا رب السماوات والأرض لن ندعو من دونه إلها لقد قلنا إذا شططا هؤلاء قومنا اتخذوا من دونه آلهة لولا يأتون عليهم بسلطان بين فمن أظلم ممن افتري على الله كذبا وإذ اعتزلتموهم وما يعبدون إلا الله فأووا إلى الكهف ينشل لكم ربكم من رحمته ويهيئ لكم
لَكُمْ مِنْ أَمْرِكُمْ مِرْفَقًا وَتَرَى الشَّمْسَ إِذَا طَلَعَتْ تَزَاوَرُ عَنْ كَهْفِهِمْ ذَاتَ الْيَمِينِ وَإِذَا غَرَبَتْ تَقْرِضُهُمْ ذَاتَ الشِّمَالِ وَهُمْ فِي فَجْوَةٍ مِّنْهِ ذَلِكَ مِنْ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ مَنْ يَهْدِ اللَّهُ فَهْوَ الْمُهْتَدِ وَمَنْ يُضْلِلْ فَلَنْ تَجِدَ لَهُ وَلِيًّا مُرْشِدًا وَتَحْسِبُهُمْ أَيْقَاظًا وَهُمْ رُقُودٌ وَنُقَلِّبُهُمْ ذَاتَ الْيَمِينِ وَذَاتَ الشِّمَالِ وَكَلْبُهُمْ بَاسِطٌ ذِرَاعَيْهِ بِالْوَصِيدِ لَوِ اطَّلَعْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ لَوَلَّيْتَ مِنْهُمْ فِرَارًا وَلَمُلِئْتَ مِنْهُمْ رُعْبًا وكذلك بعثناهم ليتساءلوا بينهم قال قائل منهم كم لبثتم قالوا لبثنا يوما أو بعض يوم قالوا رب بكم أعلم بما لبثتم فبعثوا أحدكم بورقكم هذه إلى المدينة فلينظر أيها أزكى طعاما فلينظر أيها أزكى طعاما فليأتكم برزق منه وليتلطف ولا يشعرن بكم أحدا إنهم إن يظهروا عليكم يرجموكم أو يعيدوكم في ولن تفلحوا إذا أبدا وكذلك أعثرنا عليهم ليعلموا أن وعد الله حق وأن الساعة لا ريب فيها إذ يتنازعون بينهم أمرهم فقالوا ابنوا عليهم بنيانا ربهم أعلم بهم قال الذين غلبوا على أمرهم لنتخذن عليهم مسجدا سيقولون ثلاثة رابعهم كلبهم ويقولون خمسة سادسهم كلبهم رجما بالغيب ويقولون سبعة وثامنهم كلبهم قل ربي أعلم بعدتهم ما يعلمهم إلا قليل فلا تمار فيهم إلا مراء ظاهرا ولا تستفت فيهم منهم أحدا ولا تقولن لشيء إني فاعل ذلك غدا إلا أن 
شَاءَ اللَّهُ وَاذْكُرْ رَبَّكَ إِذَا نَسِيتَ وَقُلْ عَسَى أَنْ يَهْدِيَنِي رَبِّي لِأَقْرَبَ مِنْ هَذَا رَشَدًا وَلَبِثُوا فِي كَهْفِهِمْ ثَلَاثَ مِئَةٍ سِنِينَ وَازْدَادُوا تِسْعَا قُلِ اللَّهُ أَعْلَمُ بِمَا لَبِثُوا له غيب السماوات والأرض أبصر به وأسمع ما لهم من دونه من ولي الله أكبر Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Ashadu an la ilaha illallah Ashadu an la ilaha illallah Ashadu an Muhammad Rasulullah أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حيا الله سله حيا الله سله حيا الله فله حيا Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar La ilaha illallah La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam We begin Alhamdulillah 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 الحمد لله الذي نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا فما يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يذلله فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله وهو خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين وبعد. Dear brothers, dear sisters, dear believers, these words are from our original language of Arabic and they are interpreted as follows. We say in the original language of Arabic, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Surely all praise belongs to Allah. We praise him, we seek his help, we ask his forgiveness, and it is on Allah alone that we rely. We seek refuge with Allah from the evils of ourselves and our own bad deeds. For there is not one that could misguide the one that Allah has guided. As for the one that Allah has left to stray, there is no one to guide. We bear witness that there is no God but Allah, la sharika lah, without partner. And we further bear witness that Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, huwa khatim al nabi, that Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, is the last of prophets. And we ask Allah to rain his blessings and his mercy upon all of his worthy servants and messengers throughout time. We greet you, dear brothers, dear sisters, 
with a tahiyatul jannah, the greeting words of peace and paradise. Assalamu alaikum. We brothers and sisters could never thank Allah enough for his divine intervention in our affairs in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, the great Mahdi. We thank Allah for his coming, for it is in his coming that we find the establishment of his kingdom. We find that which we can pledge our allegiance to. We find that which we can stand upon as a brotherhood and a sisterhood, for he turned our hearts toward one another in love so that we could be renewed into a completely new people, a new people that would establish a new world of freedom, justice, and equality. We could never thank Allah enough for his raising of the honorable Elijah Muhammad. He, brothers and sisters, sacrificed all that is within him, continues, brothers and sisters, to work to bring the old world to a naught so that Allah and his messenger can establish the justice that we need for our people's survival. This is a true friend. This is a true one that we can pay, pay our allegiance to. It is the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan that Allah blessed us with to not be left alone at a time when our nation had been attacked and nearly completely destroyed. But it is in the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan that the proof of the nation of Islam being backed by God himself is represented. For this nation, the United States of America, the government, aimed all of its power to destroy what we are, who we are. It was written in policy under this flag of the United States of America to destroy the nation of Islam here in the West. We are witnessing that reality now and we are witnessing that reality through the errant foreign policy that is occurring in the Muslim world as we speak. We, brothers and sisters, are in a moment where we have to be clear where our allegiance lies. Where do you put your trust where do I remain loyal? And to what do I remain loyal? What have we pledged? What have we given our word to when we pledge our lives to Islam? Allah and his messenger. Bismillah rahman rahim In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. Allah has revealed in the Holy Quran in Surah 48, verse 10. As we continue our message from last week, we refer back to this ayah, this verse of the Holy Quran, that clearly states that we, as believers, when we pay allegiance to something, our allegiance should be solely to Allah, God Most High, and His Messenger. The Quran states 
in the original language. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يُبَايِعُونَكَ إِنَّمَا يُبَايِعُونَ اللَّهِ يَدُّ اللَّهِ فَوْقُ الْيَدَيْكُمْ يَدَيْهُمْ This is translated or interpreted in the Muhammad Ali translation of the Holy Qur'an as follows. Those who swear allegiance to you, to thee, do but swear allegiance to Allah. Speaking of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. Allah continues, the hand, yad, the hand of Allah, yadullah, is above their hands. So whoever breaks his faith, he breaks it only to his soul's injury. And whoever fulfills his covenant with Allah, he will grant him a mighty reward. All praise is due to Allah. Allah speaks the mighty truth. Sadaqallahu al-Azim. To Allah alone is our allegiance, brothers and sisters. We gave the definition of allegiance according to the English dictionary. We ask, what is allegiance? This is a word that is thrown around a little too much without our understanding. Allegiance means loyalty or commitment of a subordinate to a superior or of an individual to a group or a cause. So the first dynamic that we have to see in this definition is in this word subordinate, that we fall under something, subordinate, that we fall under a series of laws, a series of beliefs that govern how we relate to the creator of the heavens and the earth and how we are to relate to one another, not only as human beings, but as believers that are part of a brotherhood and a sisterhood around this entire planet. When we are part of a brotherhood and a sisterhood. We have to understand what are those rules and regulations that guide our affairs between one another. There is a term or word called reciprocity, to be reciprocal, that what one receives from another of good is returned in some manner. In our relationships, many of us become starved in the brotherhood, starved in the sisterhood, starved in our very relationships with our husbands, our wives, our children for reciprocity, for receiving back what we give. For it is only, only a expression of gratitude to receive an act of kindness for an act of kindness. It is an expression that is due for if we are not grateful to one another, we are not grateful to Allah. One who is not grateful to his brother, to his sister, not grateful to his family, his wife, his community for what he receives or she receives is a rebel. Someone that is going against the natural idea of what it even means to be a human being. 
we first, brothers and sisters, look into this word once again of the original word of Arabic from the Holy Quran, of this word bay'ah, ba'ah. This word means to sell, to trade, to buy. Bay'un or bay'ah, an interchange, selling of merchandise, a barter. It means to make a contract, to make a covenant, or to sell. It means to make a contract by striking hands. It means to swear allegiance. We brothers and sisters have in the school systems, the public school systems, the pledging of allegiance, but there is no prayer allowed. You can pay allegiance. Listen to the word pay as it relates to the original language of Arabic. It means to buy or sell. It's an exchange, an interchange. We can pay allegiance to a flag of the United States of America and to this government. But you have to ask, what have you received in return? except suffering, shame, and death. What have you received in return for your tax dollars, for your vote of confidence? What have you received in return from the stripes, the stars, the confusion that it represents? What have we received? brothers and sisters, as a nation, as a people, more than 40 million in this Western nation called the United States of America. Yet, we as a people still have our hands out, begging, begging for reciprocity. Allegiance is to Allah alone. This is an act of insanity to continue to go back to an abuser. It is an act of insanity to continue to starve ourselves for a representation that we never had never paid allegiance to, and to this day still have not received. This, brothers and sisters, reminds us that we have a history that is not limited to the history of the Americas. Our history has no beginning nor end. We have in our history the establishment of righteous government. It is represented in the establishment of Ummat al Islamiyya, the nation of Islam, as established by the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, more than 1400 years ago. And it was established as this ayah points to, through an allegiance of various times or through various times throughout the prophet's life. We find in this ayah the history of the swearing of allegiance that is referred to here that took place before the truce of Hudaybiyah was completed. Hudaybia was a place in which a treaty was signed by the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, with the Quraysh to establish peace. The Holy Prophet started with a group of men from Medina to perform the pilgrimage 
But when he reached Hudabia, the Meccans opposed his entry to the holy city. Thereupon, the companions of the prophet, may Allah be pleased with them all, swore their allegiance to him under a tree that they would defend him at all costs and die fighting at his side. But what was the qualification that they saw in the prophet? What was the giving that was expected? Not just your life dying, but your life living. The prophet, peace be upon him, represents the reality of an oath through his example, through his example, that the companions saw throughout his life that he was al-amin, the trustworthy. This is an aspect of allegiance, someone you can trust, someone that is loyal to principles beyond what is material. One of the companions of the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, in an authentic hadith, gave the following narration about that incident, about that history. He states, we were with the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, seven or eight or nine of us. He, Prophet Muhammad said, do you take the oath of allegiance to the messenger of Allah. And we shortly took the oath of allegiance. We said though, we have already taken the oath of allegiance to you. He repeated the same words three times. We then, the companion speaking, narrating the, the occasion, we then stretched our hands and took the oath of allegiance to him. A man or one from among us said, we took the oath of allegiance to you. Now, on what should we take the oath of allegiance? Messenger of Allah. The prophet, peace be upon him, replied, we take the allegiance that you should worship Allah. Do not associate anything with him. Offer five times prayer daily. Listen and obey. He uttered a word or phrase quietly and stated, and do not beg from the people. The narrator continues saying, when the whip fell on the ground, none of that group asked anyone to pick up the whip for him. Okay, this might sound a little cryptic or a little unusual for us. What does he mean? Well, in the day of the prophet, peace be upon him, they rode camels and there was a little bull whip that would be used. And sometimes that whip would fall from the hand of the rider. And it was a good gesture to pick that whip up and give it back to the rider. After receiving these words of, do not beg from the people, those companions that were with the prophet would not even ask someone to pick up that which they dropped for them to assist them. Do for self. The allegiance includes the reality that we must provide for ourselves without being beggars. Allegiance is to Allah alone. On multiple occasions, as was stated in the hadith that we shared, Allegiance was given, received, 
on the establishment of Medina with the pledges of Aqaba. At the pledges of Aqaba, 12 men gathered with the Prophet, peace be upon him, and they gave allegiance saying, we will not serve anyone but Allah. We will not steal. We will not commit adultery. We will not kill our children. We will not slander and we will not disobey the Prophet in anything that is right. These are the principles by which we pay our allegiance. Those fundamental principles that bind our communities together, that bind our hearts together as a brotherhood, as a sisterhood. These are the principles that allow us to say that I can turn my life over to you, Allah. I can turn my life over to the mission that is before us and pledge all that I am, all that I can give to a nation. Allah Allahu Akbar. Akbar. Takbir. Allah. So what have we pledged? What have we given our word to when we pledge our lives to Islam? Allah and his messenger. It is a tragedy that we are in a world that has degraded to the point very few honor their oaths, their promises, and word. And most cannot be trusted, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we don't have trust in ourselves to do what we know that we should do for ourselves on an individual level. So we brothers and sisters must at all times create what is among us to be something that binds our hearts, and our reality. We should not be fighting as believers. Allah Most High in the Holy Quran has revealed in Surah 4, verse 59, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. O oh, you who believe, obey Allah and obey the Messenger and those in authority from among you. Then if you quarrel about anything, refer it to Allah and the messenger, if you believe in Allah and the last day. This is best and more suitable to achieve the end. Praise be to Allah. So we refer any wrangling, any quarreling, any differences among us back to Allah and his messenger, back to the law of Islam. We refer our arguments back to Allah for the purpose to achieve the suitable end. What is that suitable end? What is the end that we are working to achieve? It is the establishment of a nation that we can pledge our allegiance to. Allegiance is to Allah alone. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad wants us to build a nation. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan wants us to build a nation. Allah, Most High, wants us to build a nation. This is the hour in which we must, brothers and sisters, come out of a mindset of being influenced by the influencers, the leadership of those that have shown that they do not have our best interest at heart. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, in self-improvement basis for community development, our study guides, under the title of the Law of God, 
gives us these beautiful teachings. He writes, present day leadership in the world, both spiritual and political, consists primarily of persons who desire and place in positions of authority and power people who are loyal to themselves, personality, and not necessarily to principles. This is totally wrong. In the nation of Islam, proper leadership is that which teaches loyalty to Allah God, his messenger, the law, and myself. When we break the loyalty to the law, we break the code of friendship between us and more importantly, we do not deserve friendship with those who strive to live by the law. Unless and until we are punished and begin striving again. Why is this? Master Far Muhammad was teaching us a, a way from cronyism and keeping friendship with persons whose character is not good. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan continues, is this not the reason why there is a growing dissatisfaction with present day leadership? Again, each victor, politically or spiritually, wants to put his or her cronies who are loyal to personality but not to principles of law in positions of power. Praise be to Allah. This word crony means those who are yes men, yes women, those who follow personalities without asking, those who seek favor with those in leadership so that they may find some personal benefit for themselves. We, brothers and sisters, have a law in Islam that has been established that if we go outside of the bounds of the law, we find ourselves under it through a punishment that is injuring our own souls. We thank Allah for the establishment of the nation of Islam, for the establishment of that which Allah Ta'ala Most High is putting before the world as an example of freedom, justice, and equality. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Aqulu qulu hadhi wa astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayh. This is what I've said, may Allah forgive me if I've made any mistake. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salat wa salam ala Sidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een wa ba'd. Brothers and sisters, as we close, we must understand that through the brotherhood, through the sisterhood of our faith, through our religion, through all of what has been established as the law of Islam, we find a citizenry. We find a society. This word citizen means to be native or naturalized, to be a member of a state or nation who owes allegiance to its government and is entitled to its protection. Through our belief Allah Most High has given to us an entitlement to protection, to security. It is the word Islam that literally means security through submission. As we discussed earlier, to make oneself subordinate, to make one's desires subordinate to those that Allah 
to those laws that Allah has established that govern the character of the believer. If we, brothers and sisters, do not subordinate, make our desires ones that we are transforming into that which Allah desires, we become rebels. We become in opposition. We become resistant against the law of God. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad gave us in these words regarding this present government. He stated in the fall of America, this book that we should all have, the fall of America. He stated on page one and two that the government of America has failed you. You have not received justice from any quarter as prophesied. You, my fellow black men, are as sheep among wolves. And as is to be expected, every wolf is taking a bite at you. You approach the Senate, the House, the White House, and you ask for justice. You get injustice. All our prayers have come to naught because we have proceeded out of ignorance. We have not known the true God. We have not known who our brothers are. We have not known who our enemies are. We have not known who God is. Praise be to Allah. So it is in the knowledge of God, in the knowledge of who we are, who our brothers and sisters are, that we find something true to pay our allegiance to. To Allah alone belongs allegiance. We thank Allah forever for the coming of Master Far Muhammad, the great Mahdi. For it is in his coming that the establishment of a new world, a new society, a new heaven, and a new earth is being established before our eyes. It is the enemy that puts the light out in our hearts and our minds to not be able to recognize what is happening right here among our people in the wilderness of North America. For it is the establishment of the nation of Islam, a society, a nation, a community in which we can give our full, full allegiance to, knowing that what we give of self will be rewarded. Rewarded with what? Rewarded with freedom, justice, and equality. The establishment of Allah, God's kingdom a new Islam, a new way of life, a new heaven, a new earth, and the destruction of Satan himself. Allahu Akbar. Allah, as we close on this ayah, has revealed Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Say, if you love Allah, follow me. In the voice of the Prophet, Allah is telling the Prophet, peace be upon him, say to the people, if you love Allah, follow me. Allah will love you and grant you protection from your sins. And Allah is forgiving, merciful. Say, obey Allah and the Messenger. But if they turn back, Allah surely does not love the disbelievers. This is what I've said. May Allah forgive me if I've made any mistake. Inshallah, brothers, sisters, let us raise up our brotherhood and sisterhood. Let us raise up Allah and the example of his messenger so that we may receive the reward of the greatest achievement 
Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ameen. We close with a short dua. Rabbana atina fid dunya hasanatan wa fil akhirati hasanatan wa qina adhab al-nar. Rabbi gfirli wa li walidayya wa lil mu'minina yawma yakul mul hisab. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ameen. Wa aqimu al-salat. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashadu wa la ilaha illa Allah. Ashadu wa anna Muhammad al-Rasool Allah. Hayya Allah salah, hayya Allah salah. Qari qawma ta salah, qari qawma ta salah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, la ilaha illa Allah. La ilaha illa Allah, Muhammad al-Rasulullah. Let us straighten our lines, close our gaps. We offer each prayer as though it is our last, for Allah Most High knows best. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawm Al-Din Iyaka Na'budu wa Iyaka Nasta'een Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqeem Sirat Al-Ladheena An'amta Alayhim غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawm Al-Din Iyaka Na'budu wa Iyaka Nasta'een Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqeem Sirat Al-Ladheena An'amta Alayhim غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين إذا جاء نصر الله والفتح ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أف واجاء فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفره إنه كان توابا الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده ربنا Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar 
Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تقبل الله may Allah accept our prayers praise be to Allah we at this point will make a joint recitation of سورة الفاتحة Insha'Allah followed uh, by short announcements. Al-Fatiha. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahmanir Rahim. Maliki Yawmid Deen. Iyaka Na'budu wa Iyaka Nasta'een. Ihdina Sirat al-Mustaqeen. صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين تكبير 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 Dear brothers and sisters, if we have any of those who have come for the first time, please feel free to ask any question or any that have come before. Please feel free to ask any question about what you have heard today. But we greet you as we came with the greeting words of peace and paradise. Assalamu alaikum. Jumu Mubarak. Of course, we as usual, we encourage you all to come out to our self improvement study group this evening. For those who are here in Chicago, it's right next door at 7.30 Central Time, of course. And for those who may not have, um, not be in Chicago, we encourage you to go to your local mosque or study group and also participate. And you can get more information by going to study.noi.org. Student Minister Abel Muhammad will be doing the keynote, Allah willing, this Sunday at 10 a.m. Central Time. For those who are here in Chicago, we encourage you not only to come out, but make sure that you bring a guest as well. For those who are not in the city, we encourage you to make sure that you watch the message at media.noi.org. If you don't have a mosque or study group, but if you have a mosque or study group, we encourage you to make sure that you visit there and hear the beautiful message that will be presented. Assalamu alaikum. This house is dedicated to knowledge and to the spreading of knowledge. Elijah Muhammad inspired new thought, new mind, new way of civilization among black people. But he wanted a house from which a light could be lifted up to give guidance to all who would be guided as this world begins to close down. This national center for the re-education and retraining of the black man and woman, but for the totality of the human family of our planet. I named this mosque after the only woman that the Quran names a chapter after. The mother of Jesus, Maryam. All human beings need to be re-educated. That is the purpose of the National Center.
Greetings, dear listeners. We have been blessed by Almighty God, Allah, over the 90 years of our work in the nation of Islam and lifting our people up from the miserable condition in which we find ourselves. We ask your support of our effort and we hope that you will be generous and make a contribution to the work of the Nation of Islam and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan by clicking the button below or go to noi.org forward slash donate. We thank you in advance for your support. May Allah God continue to bless you and your families. Assalamu alaikum. Now you can get the same uncompromising truth you've come to expect from the Final Call newspaper on all your connected devices. Subscribe to the Final Call Digital Edition today. Go to subscribe.finalcalldigital.com.